Sheffield okay. Sheffield it's been to you with the food, yeah? Okay. Thank you. Great. Hi, good Hi, evening. Good evening. So my name is Malika and I just wanted to explain uh, sure. our dish this dish to you. So we start our meal off with this uh, dish is to try and capture the idea of what is coastal food in India through a very personal lens and very different people's lenses because um, coastal food, because it's a very big country, the geography is very varied even on the coast, so not everybody's experiences is the same. So we start off with Komodo oysters. So they are uh, Japanese oysters which we picked specifically because they are quite delicate in nature. So when you to start off your meal it's really nice. Then we paired it up with something called sol kadi which is from the western coast of India. So sol kadi is made from coconut milk and a dried fruit called coca so which is quite tangy and fruity. And then we season it with spices like cumin and black salt and green chili. So it's very refreshing. So. Um, generally you have it not only when you're like really dehydrated because it's very energizing but also very good for digestion so generally people also have it along with their meats so oh. we just thought as your aperitif it's like really nice to start it off with and then to finish it off we have some curry leaf oil so curry leaf is very important to coastal food in India uh, it, you'll see it in various forms being used all across the regions but it will always you will show up in one way or another so uh, we just thought it had to be there um, so yes the best way to eat it would be like I suggest you take the bowl in your hand and then slurp in the oyster ah, and then drink in the soul okay. because that's the best way to have it okay good so thank, I you. Hope you thank you thank you were there, they introduced white bread and potato to the Indians. When the British took over, the elevated and known as what we know now as sandwich, used to have their tea time in that point of time. It's just fresh, vegetables like tomato, potato, cucumbers. So once the British left, the dish remains the same, but with a little bit of Indian influence over the time period, it got its own uniqueness where people start to use meat chutneys, they start to use cheese, safe, some place you can get it just purely with fruit based. So here in our kitchen, we make our own in-house white bread with mint and chili chutney and freshly boiled potato, cucumbers, tomatoes. And on top there, as you can see, there is salmon. The salmon which has been cured with timur pepper, the pepper which is of the Himalayas. We top there with imperial caviar and fresh fennel flowers. This side is the uni. It's 
uh, Achari Uni means it's an uh, Indian pickled uni. As the bottom layer, it's a stack of potatoes, is, which is being pickled with Achari. It's an Indian type of pickling. And, uh, and with a bit of Achari mayo, then the buffon uni, and this bavra with corn flowers. It is recommended one bite. Enjoy. Oh, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Which one do I eat first? This one or this uh, one? If you ask me, I'll recommend this first. This first. Yes, because okay. a bit pickling flavor okay. and this will refresh you with the minchan. Okay. Oh, yes. Thank you. Enjoy. It's, it's, a, it's a dish that is very comforting and hence it's also made during uh, many uh, occasions of celebration and uh, something that is you know very intrinsic and a very popular dish from the north of India primarily. Vibratura. Mm, you really smell all the spices coming out. So over here uh, you have the chole. So chole is basically a, a chickpeas. Uh, spiced chickpeas which are cooked in uh, black tea and then finished off with an uh, addition of a array of uh, spices topped with some uh, pickled coriander and uh, onions. This is uh, pulled pickled uh, shallots. These are compressed with uh, lemon and chili so you get this really nice burst of, of flavors. And this is a uh, homemade uh, uh, pickle. Uh, so this is a fresh pickle instead of a fermented style. Uh, it's very fresh pickle with mustard seeds, a bit of uh, ginger, cumin, and other pickling spices. Uh, it's Indian, uh, so this is basically gooseberry, Indian gooseberry, and uh, green so, so the way to have this is take the Katura donuts, bring it into, uh, you know, whether you dip it or use the spoon to put it on the Katura. You have a bite, and in between bites, okay. then you try the pickles, so, which almost become like a bite yes, cleanser. Yes, 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 I see. Yeah? Okay, great, great. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Okay. So as you know, this is our Valentine's Day special. Okay. So we have something. Every every dish has something special. So and you all might be wondering what Agari is. It's actually just to give you a brief description. Agari is actually a, a family name, and that family they founded this sauce, which is Agari. Agari sauce. Oh, Agari sauce. Yeah. So you might be wondering what the uh, Agari sauce is actually made of. It's actually the meaning. Okay, this how this literally how this sauce is made. It's actually uh, it's cooked in a Western way, but with Indian spices. So you know how we do a normal stock. We take the you know the heads of the lobster and then you know we roast it and then we you know stock it down and then we get a stock. Then from there. We get this, we get a stock. So from the stock, we take this, uh, uh, it's called a haraka, which is cooked with raw mangoes. There's raw mangoes in it, and then a, a, a bit of you know, Indian spices and everything going in there. And then after that, we finish it up with, we cook it down slowly together, and then becomes agari. So, so we have uh, to, to go with that, we have our uh, tormelo root. Chili. Tomelo is actually a tomato, a Mexican tomato. It is a very different, unique taste from the normal tomato. It is a bit of sweet and you know, there's a bit of sweetness in it. And everything. So it's a, it's a Mexican tomato which is totally different. And then on top of that, we have Boston lobster to go with it. And with the kitchili, we have our, our tor tormelo. And together with it, we have our broken wheat. It's broken wheat. So then we have cooked it together. So let me finish up the dish for you so that you can enjoy the dish. Make sure this dish. Ah, wait a minute. You. Seasonal vegetable. We'll have some form of lentil. We'll have some form of rice, some bread, some fresh pickle, and many other things. Before we did that, we thought we'll do two things: a cleanse your palate. Uh, from whatever that you have eaten until now, also give you some form of a digestive. Right? Um, what ice kachang is for Singapore, we also have something similar called uh, Badaf Kabula, which essentially is the same concept of shaved ice, given the shape of a ball, put into a stick, and then varieties of flavors are poured over it. So we'll, we'll do a version of the second one, start with some fresh ice first. Okay.
going to do one flavor at a time. The first one is called Kala Khatta. This is extracted out of a lot of uh, local berries and uh, also has got kokum, which was part of your first course. So the color is also because of that. Okay. May I request you kindly start tasting it from that side? Okay. it with a lot of spices that are very good for digestion like fennel, peppercorn, then there is tamarind, black salt. So for this I'll request you to mix everything up and literally try and drink it like a slushy. The duck has been braised with that and then you finish it off with some peanut crumbs and then we have paired it up with some fermented uh, cabbage. So the cabbage has been fermented with some uh, spices and yogurt. So it's sort of got a lot of time to cut the, uh, the duck. And then we... Uh, we have put one in the center so it's easy for you to... Okay, sure. Thank you. Yeah. And then, so... Uh, so obviously, so we start off in the south, so Pond it's from the Pondicherry region. And then we move uh, to the restaurant, so we move a little bit, you know, around the, along the coastline. So we have these, this banana temperado. So banana temperado is uh, also a part of uh, Anglo-Indian community food, so it is very influenced by the Portuguese and the French style of cooking. So you will see a lot in the southern coast of India. So we, uh, it's a sauce that is made with coconut milk, and but it is also has a very French style of uh, cooking base. So that's another thing very unique to this style of dishes. And then finally we have this lentil preparation. So this lentil preparation is uh, actually uh, 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 something that Chef Indri Chef Vikram inherited from his grandmother. So it has a very, it's a very delicate lentil. So it's got, and it's got like three layers of tempeh, but it's uh, still a very uh, quite gentle in its flavor. So we just thought we'd pair well with this uh, recipe. And then the second part of this dish is uh, is focused on this bread. So this bread is from the Cochin region of uh, uh, India, and it has a lot of Dutch colonial influence. So if you taste it, you will see a lot of nutmeg and a lot of uh, Cardinal because these are the spices that we used to trade in. So traditionally in that region, this is known as the duck. And uh, it is a uh, very common, uh, integral to the Catholic community of that region. And then we pair it up with something called chicken pickle. So chicken pickle is basically, so uh, if you, like Indian style pickles are usually made with oil. But a lot of the Anglo-Indian pickles, you'll see a lot of meats coming through. And the flavors, the spicing is a little more gentle. Because a lot of the, 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 the they do not like excessively spicy. So the spicing is a little, the seasoning is a little more gentle than uh, a typical Indian pickle. And you see a lot more meats being used, a lot of pork and a lot of chicken. This is a very classic chicken pickle. And then you finish it off with some kind of, uh, raita, which is a curry, Japanese cucumbers, just to cut through all the uh, all the spice. And we have some fermented chili butter, which we make now. So that's why you're right. So from my uh, my suggestion would be that you have these together okay. and and the, that together because uh, the flavors are, are complementary. Okay. So I hope you enjoy. This. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
get it together with you. Yes, get it.